My son stormed down the stairs into the kitchen where he proceeded to start yelling at us over how sick we are. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled... My 17-year-old son found a spicy tape my wife and I, and now our kids are freaking out and not talking to us. And guys, this story is coming from the husband's perspective, and it's all about how one day out of the blue, his 17-year-old son started freaking out because he found a uh, spicy video of uh, <clears throat> this guy's wife and him having some fun on the father's laptop. Why the son was on his laptop, who knows? And nevertheless, it said this whole domino effect of drama and turmoil within the family. Because it doesn't just stop there with the kids. One of the kids opens uh, their big mouth and it spreads in amongst the family, like the extended family, and, as well as school. It's a big giant mess here. And uh, pretty much the father is wondering, like, what the hell, do, how do I handle this, blah, 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 etc. So for any of you guys out there that have kids, you might find this very entertaining. So if you relationship guys that are, that are married, have kids, if you like to do freaky stuff with, that, with the wife, I'd recommend maybe not recording it and leaving that maybe your kids can find one day. And uh, But anyhow, it's pretty entertaining. And uh, believe me, uh, I'll, I'll share my opinion as I get this go, go through this story. So it starts off, he says, uh, So, to make a long story short, my wife and I have an unconventional SEX life, and our teenage son found one of our SEX tapes while using my laptop without permission. He has his own computer, so I don't know why he was on mine. What a that little shit, snooping around your laptop. Maybe he doesn't deserve his own laptop if he's going to snoop on yours. My wife and I were sitting at the table going through some of her bill payments on her laptop, and my daughter, 15, was on her laptop in the living room, which is attached to the kitchen. My son stormed down the stairs into the kitchen, where he proceeded to start yelling at us about how sick we are. We had no idea what was happening, and our daughter got mad and asked what was going on, and he started yelling about what he found. This set my daughter off, and my wife became hysterical, and everyone began screaming at each other. I was so shocked and embarrassed by what was happening that I just remained quiet at first, but I put an end to the fighting and told everyone to split up and cool off, which they did. So, let me get this straight. It sounds like everybody has their own laptop. This is obviously a family that's quite comfortable with money, or at least making out to be. So, why is this son snooping on their laptop that permission? Like I said in the beginning, that little shit, I would take away his computer and say, mind your own damn business. But I'm going to address something that I'm sure we're all thinking. What was on that laptop? He said they like he and his wife like to have uh, freaky videos. What exactly were they doing that in that video that that son saw? I mean, something tells me the way he reacted. It wasn't just uh, you know he stumbled upon. They put the camera on the dresser, and they were doing the typical positions. It sounds like they were doing a lot more stuff there that the son saw. And let me tell you, I don't have kids, but I can imagine. I can't imagine how horrible it'd be to uh, see something like that if it was my parents. I mean. Holy shit. But he should have been snooping. I told my wife <clears throat> we should talk about this with them, but she said she can't possibly face them over how mortified she is. What was she doing to Papa on that video? I went to try and say something anyway, but my kids were having none of it and wouldn't even look at me. Since then, our kids have barely communicated with us and are not coming out of their rooms except for school and extracurricular activities. We are making dinners, which are being eaten in silence and in different rooms. It's been almost a week, and I feel like I need to do something, but my wife keeps begging me not to bring it up, and my children won't even look at me. What should I do? Well, I'm no parent here, but uh, allowing this to go on like it is is ridiculous. Okay, She's obviously emotional, can't think straight, so this guy needs to be the, the man of the house, the leader, and say, okay, we're all sitting down, and we're going to have a discussion about people's boundaries, going into people's stuff, as well as the fact that, guess what, we are two, we're adults, we do our own thing, this is how it is, blah, 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 end of story. I'm sorry you saw what you saw, but you know what, you shouldn't have been snooping on our laptop, and this bullshit is going to stop, we're going to start being a family again. That's what I would do. But... I'm not a parent, and I'm also a hard ass. He says, an update. So it's been an exhausting day, and now it's very late where I live, but the dilemma continues. I followed some of the advice to get good effect. After some back and forth with the wife, I put my foot down and decided we were going to have a sit down as a family and talk this out. Good. You're the leader. You're the man. 
because he sure as hell don't want her leading the situation. She was quite upset, but I told her this would be best. I text everyone in the morning. I start work early to let them know to come on time today because we need to be clear. They clear the air and have a proper adult conversation. No disappearing into bedrooms. My daughter agreed, and, and so did my son, although he had the condition that it would not be in the living room, which was fine. Uh, he's living there under your roof, and you pay for his food, and you pay for his computer. He can meet you in any room you want problem is i can just i can read between the lines here they spoil these kids and that's why these kids are behaving the way they are uh, everyone did as i asked and we had the family meeting in the kitchen it started off quite awkward and i began by reminding them the importance of respecting people's privacy exactly he had no business being on his father's laptop without his father's permission I told him that no one is in trouble, but I was very disappointed in my son's actions, and he said he could could have handled how he could have handled this what happened with more discretion. My kids did not like this initially, and they said some disrespectful things, but I reprimanded them for it, and overall it was tense but calm as it could be could be under the circumstances. Again, these kids are spoiled, saying disrespectful things and stuff like that. And let me, what does it say about the son's level of maturity? That he was running down the st- stairs screaming ab- about that and, and whatever the words he chose, right? But I've said many times, in my opinion, kids these days, like the kids that graduate high school, their level of maturity, what I've observed, is the maturity that I had when I was in junior high. And the kids graduating college nowadays had the maturity that I had when I graduated high school. And it all comes from the parents babying them and spoiling them and all that. It says here, I went on and I essentially explained to them that consenting adults, especially those who are married and happy together, shouldn't be shamed for whatever they decide they enjoy. It is unfair to judge someone else and they need to learn as they grow older that not everyone will adhere to what they think is normal. They can dislike something personally, but it's wrong to hate someone else because of it. Again, what the hell were they doing in that video? I mean, was was dad tied up? Was mom tied up? Candle wax being used? Was there close-ups of mom pleasuring dad and close-ups of dad pleasuring mom? I mean, seriously. I got to say this. The fact that they're both, uh, it said that he's 40 and, she, and the mom's 35, and they have a 17 and 15-year-old, so they've been married for a long time. The fact that they're still hooking up and actually getting freaky and adventurous in the sack, that's actually very impressive. So I say good for them. But given they have teenage kids in the house, I would avoid any kind of recordings given this type of thing because kids, are they snoop, okay? The kids are wrong, but the parents, I would wait till they were out of the house to do that stuff. Uh, this is where it started to go south, like it hadn't been going south already. My son started to get angry, but not just at us, but also his sister. His sister apparently told her best friend, who was also her cousin, who then told people at school, Apparently, my son has been getting made fun of at school because of it, and he's obviously very upset. Girls can't keep secrets. What a little shit. She had to go tell her cousin, and now she's telling people at school? I hate teenagers. They're teenage... Well, I'm not... This is why I don't have any kids. Kids are a pain in the ass. Little kids, junior high kids, high school kids, college kids. They're all pain... But I'm turning into a grumpy old man at 44. My wife became enraged at our daughter and quite hysterical, and I actually removed her from the situation. Not physical, but told her to leave and cool off. I was upset too, but shouting wouldn't solve anything. I told my daughter that she was in deep trouble for doing that, and asked my son if he had told anyone else, and he said no, which I believe. Yeah, because guys are better keeping freaking secrets. I took my daughter's phone and laptop as punishment and grounded her for until the end of the school year. But that is really just plugging a hole in the hole while the ship is on fire. She stormed off up to her room, which is where she would stay. Taking away taking away a teenage girl's phone and laptop is like pretty much taking away her soul. So this ain't going to go very well. I don't blame the guy for being pissed and removing it temporarily, but saying for the whole year... <sighs> She stormed off, blah, blah, blah. I attempted to make her unlock it so she could see exactly what she told her cousin, but that would be very hypocritical of me. I asked my son why he didn't mention anything to me about the bullying, and he told me it was my fault, and he didn't want to talk to me about it at all. It is not the father's fault that the kid's been given a hard time. This all started because the kid was snooping on his laptop. I'm sorry to hear the kid's being bullied at school, but... uh, 
He started the whole damn thing. And it was his a-hole sister, or he's a child who had to go blab to somebody. And, you know, nobody can keep a secret because everybody has that one friend they got to tell something to. And then her a-hole cousin had to go tell everybody, right? I asked uh, what they were saying, but he wouldn't go into detail. Just that they would call him names and throw things at him. Fruit, apparently. His friends were sticking up for him, though, which I was happy to hear. He then said some very disrespectful things about me and his mother, which I understood because he was angry, but I couldn't excuse. So I took all his electronics off him and grounded him. I got no problem with that. It's one thing to be upset. It's another thing to be insulting towards them. Again, Big Mouth, you're the one that that started this whole damn thing. He still blamed me for the tape, but I told him he wasn't in trouble for finding it. He was in trouble for being a disrespectful little shit. He stormed off to his room, which is where he, st- he too, would stay for a while. Well, he should be in trouble for going sticking his nose in your stuff. If you were on his laptop looking up things, he'd be pretty pissed off. I went upstairs with my wife, and she was obviously extremely upset. I held her, and she cried for a while and blamed herself before she eventually calmed down enough to talk. She realized that if the cousin knew, then my sister and her husband probably knew too. She was sobbing at the thought of them spreading this to our family, and they are religious apparently. And we decided to try and get ahead of this. I texted my sister asking if she was free this week and to stop by for coffee or something. She didn't reply immediately, though I know she saw the text, and eventually she responded saying that she would rather wouldn't she rather wouldn't go right now. Well then she obviously knows. So now my wife is depressed, saying that the family are going to hate her and shun us, and we will lose our community presence. Again, what were they doing in that video? I feel like I need to talk to my sister just to make sure what she knows and ask her to keep it to herself. Even if I invite myself over, does that seem like a good idea? Yeah, just go over there. Knock on the door and say, listen, we got something going on. It's kind of a family emergency. We need to talk. That's it. Should I also talk to the school about my son and see if I can help at all? No, that'd make it worse. Talking to the teachers and the principals, they're going to be like, oh, you're the uh, SCX tape family, huh? My daughter didn't mention any bullying, but she might be taking heat for this too. I don't want to make this any worse for them. I don't want to make things worse for them, but on the other hand, they brought this on themselves. Time to learn a very adult lesson about keeping your mouth shut, staying loyal to your family, things like that. Also, we deleted all adult stuff we had in the laptops. Very smart. And then I spent a good hour or so figuring out how to encrypt film, uh, encrypt files. Although my wife told me not to bother because it would never happen again. I'm also looking at family therapy because I want us to go and talk to a professional about it. Well, this he shouldn't be able to lose his fun, freaky uh, SEX life with his wife because of all this shit went down. Now, eventually she'll calm down, but she's all wound up and hysterical and all that. But what's funny here is... She's, she's younger than me. She's 35. She's nine years younger than me. And this guy is 40. So, again, I got to say that the fact they've been married this long and they're adventurous, if you put it that way, doing these types of things behind closed doors, I say, hey, good for them because it's rare. But eventually, this will blow over. But the kids need to learn a very, very valuable lesson about loyalty to family, keeping your mouth shut, sticking, don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, snooping, all that. But I don't blame this guy at all for at least temporarily taking away the electronics from both the kids. It's one thing if they're upset about the situation. Okay. It's another thing if they're blabbing and telling everybody and also being rude and mean and disrespectful both to him and the wife. That I got an issue with, you know, because so many kids are disrespectful these days. And at the end of the day, one can say, well, whose fault is that? It's the fault of the parents. So they need to lay down the law. But uh, I thought this was an entertaining one to go over, guys, especially for you, any of you guys watching this that, or anybody that stumbles upon this that has kids and them ever discovering something like this. You know, the parents would be horrified that the kids found out or maybe walked in on them. And uh, the uh, the kids would be horrified. I mean, I, thank God I never saw anything like this growing up or walked in my parents getting it on but believe me I would be pretty much like oh oh, shit I wouldn't be able to get that image out of my head for a very very long time so all right guys that is it for today be sure to comment down below let me know what you think about this let me know uh, what you think this guy ought to do and let me know what you think was probably going on in those videos and be sure to like the video share with your friends and subscribe and I'll catch you next time